Good day guys, being here. Um, today we are going to model this. So, um, yeah, actually I'm not quite sure. Uh, I will try to use um, conceptual mass and see if we can just use um, spline through points to model this one. Okay. Oh, uh, hang on. Spline through points. Oh, yes. I think uh, let's try. Try. So, first, uh, let's place a spline through points. I'll just draw it something like this. And maybe I'll just copy them. Some. Okay. So now we can select them, create a, a a surface. Go, go. Let's rotate this. Uh, maybe I let me just uh, move move these reference lines up. So just uh, move move them away from the reference plane. So okay. So let's just I'll just hh hh all these reference plane. So okay. So first let's ray. Use your keyboard to move the points, and then um, maybe this point needs to come down. Uh, I'll, I'll just go to the right. So, oh, let, sorry, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Click on the right. Is that right? Yep. Oh, good. So maybe I'll just move this point down. Um, maybe roughly like this, and this can go up, go up. Go up, uh, go up. So maybe this one go there. Maybe this go there. Maybe go to the left. Go down. Maybe go to the left. Go to the left. Go to the left. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> so okay. So let's have a look. Um, the shape, overall shape, uh, close but still not. Uh, not exactly the same, but we can try to you know adjust. So for for example, this one. So you can. So in here, it's more like curves. So um, to achieve that, we can move this point. So you can somehow you can move the x, y, z, and then somehow to uh, you can make this looks like a curve, right? Something like this, and same this one. Do this, do this, and then it looks like a curve. Okay, so and then um, and also you can see it's a little bit flat here. So and then you will find oh uh, this is uh, very hard to achieve. So once 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 you move this one, it become you know the corner. So what you can do is you can add more points. So point draw on draw on face. Oh, hell, let me just h hedge, hedge this surface to make sure I place a point on the reference line, not the surface, not the edge of surface. So let's place um, a couple points on this reference line, so, and then we can use make point driving, and then let me hr to show the mass. So now we have more um, more points to adjust. So now we can move this one without without uh, without effect still affect a little bit but um, less effect to that po that corner so you can somehow you can I think you can um, make it more a flat edge with curve that edge but yeah so basically just spend some time and you can you should be able to achieve what uh, in th that image okay so let mm, I me mean, let me still try. <laughs> yeah, it's not very. It's not perfect, but yeah, the more time you spend, <laughs> you should get better result. Okay, so something like this. So you can have a curved edge with a relatively flat here. So okay, so that's it. And then so let's have a look at uh, the top the here so that's a ridge of uh, quite 
a sharp corner so instead of you know what we have here so i think we can probably try try the at point at um place more point as well so let me just hh surface and then place some more points i'm going to just place a point here place a point here place a point here place a point here and do the same so maybe i'll just do uh, the same on three reference line and also this one okay so the reason why i place this many points is i want to make this one to this one this point to this point uh, relative uh, relatively straight so now select all these uh, you can see the smaller points so they are driven by the reference line for now what I want to do is just make points driving so now they are driving the reference line and now let me just ch type HR to show the surface and then we can try to adjust so now i can see if i'm lower these two points a little bit so and keep the middle middle point oops so this happens sometimes so revit don't uh, uh, can't just just can't create that surface with all these um, reference lines so you just try to um adjust it uh, slightly different different um, for example different distance or different angle so yeah so yeah all good so now you can see um, the, the the part this part is quite flat with that ridge so the same if I move this down a little bit and uh, won't let me to select that point uh, WF yeah oh unable to create yet so we just need to maybe just uh, ch uh, increase or reduce a little bit so yep all good so this come down a little bit and then this one as well so let me type SD so now you can see I we have quite similar to this so quite flat with a, a sharp uh, rich instead of you know uh, at this point it's quite curved so yeah so basically this is it um quite uh, time consuming i believe uh, and also it's it's quite hard to to adjust uh, adjust the shape and also if you need to model like this many I don't think this is a best um, way um, but uh, I think we will uh, I will have a try to see if I can just make this uh, into um, maybe an adaptive family so once we have some structure or some walls uh, under and then we can place them um, and um, hopefully <laughs> hopefully uh, we, we will be able to do that so this is it okay so it's just very uh, simple math exercise to uh, show you uh, how we can mold or we can create this shape so there might be other um, methods so but oh hell another one I can think I think of so I'll just quickly show you so I think oh, even maybe let's just uh, oh, something like this so I'll just draw on world plan uh, let me set world plan first I want to just set onto this world plan yep and I draw a line make it a reference line. another method is you can always use a, a path with with a point draw on face onto face and then we use the reference I'll just check uh, check this show the reference work plan of this point so we can always use um, use profiles so let, let me just do a reference this time I'm going going to use spline okay so spline draw on work plan set work plan uh, let me set work plan pick this work plan and then draw a profile so for example something like this 
like this okay and then we can always select them both point and profile cc maybe i'll just copy more and pick new host and pick new host and pick new pick new host so this is another way of doing it so i believe um and then what we need to do is we just need to um oh hell oh because of this is straight line we can't really yeah there can be some issue maybe let, let's control z control z control z um maybe we can do reference line spine through points draw our work plan set work plan onto this one and one two three four so let's try this one so i'm going to just you place all this onto onto this let me just delete this reference line so and then i'll just pick new host onto this reference um spline through points and oops sorry wrong one and because for this one we have more flexibility so let me just hit uh, wf so we can use this one to adjust adjust the uh, the curve of the path and so for example this one go down to you can somehow you, you can yeah and then with this one we can control the control the um profile so but i think it's it can be a little uh hard to try to oh uh, yeah looks like we can we can still uh no 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 yeah it it, it will be hard to um create that c curve at the corner because this profile will always be perpendicular to the path yeah so this can be a hard maybe maybe we can use uh, a void to cut the corner so i think so because you can see here it's quite it's quite easy to do it using this way but only that corner maybe we need to use void um yeah <laughs> okay so i think i will st i will stop here yeah so we can cut that corner but i prefer not using void so anyway so that's it for today um you can also have a have a uh, have a try so to uh, with these two dif uh, different methods and also there might be might be other a better better method that um uh, i don't know <laughs> so if if you know a, a better way of doing this please please let me know okay so um thank you and i'll see you next time Thank you. Bye.